Hello everyone, welcome back to the Weekend Filmmaker channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Diogo Tadini and today we're talking audio. We're fixing audio, bringing from Premiere Pro to Adobe Audition and fixing it. No more noise, let's do it. So here we are in Premiere Pro CC. I've already imported some audio and some footage. So let me create where I've created already my timeline by dragging and dropping. So that's my original file there. Then I will just drag and drop my audio here. And that's just as a reminder, that's what I always do for my tutorials and for all my videos on YouTube. So it's very simple. I basically drag them because I need to synchronize them. I use a Zoom H4n to record the audio and that's literally what I do. So I drop them down here in my timeline, just select them both, synchronize, let Premiere quickly synchronize and just because I can, I just wanna do this, it doesn't really make much sense but um, it's just for me to have them, I'm quite symmetrical so that's what I want. Once I know that they are all aligned, I then go and press Command L for this, so I delete the original file, command up arrow to um, move the clip from one track to another, command L again here, so then now all of them are both audio and visual is synchronized. Here is the current levels. If you like to enjoy this video, please give me a thumbs up. So here is between minus 15 and minus 12, but I want to be picking between minus six and minus three, because I always add a soundtrack. Uh, so that will be in the background. So obviously I need to raise my levels here. I could do in Premiere Pro, but what I normally do is in Adobe Audition. What I do then is right click, edit clip in Adobe Audition. And I apologize, there's some birds in the background just having fun here, which means that I actually live in a nice location. So look how peaceful I listen to it, how peaceful. Anyway, coming back here, edit clip in Adobe Audition, click there, Premiere does its thing, we'll transfer the clip to Audition. Brilliant, here we are. Don't be scared, there's nothing to be scared. What I normally do to be really quick for my tutorials is I raise the levels roughly to where I want. So here I've got the scale. So remember I said minus three to minus six. That's what I wanna do so quickly. I would just do uh, some of the pickings here. It should be fine between minus six and minus three. Yeah, just there. And then also I want to eliminate some of this um, noise. So if you can see here, there are some noise in the background. So I just basically have to select an area that I wasn't uh, talking. So I select it here, right click, capture noise print. So that will capture the noise that I've selected there. Make sure that I select everything, go up to effects, noise reduction, noise reduction process. So it did not capture the audio properly. Oh, sorry. the. Um, it did not capture this um, noise print properly. So let's do it again. Capture noise print. There we go. Select everything. Up to effects. Noise reduction. Noise reduction process. So now you can see that you've got the high, the low and the threshold. So the threshold is there. The high is there. Before it did not capture the high for some reason. And that happens actually quite often for some reason. I don't know why, but it does happen that I um, the highs won't be shown for some reason. Anyway, so here is the audio, the clean audio already. Hello, welcome back to the weekend. Oh, that's quite loud. So let me just lower the volume a little bit. So I've got the, the file like pretty much ready. However, if you do want to see exactly what, um, what kind of noise it got rid of, you can just select here output noise only. So is, this is just for you to have an idea of what Audition is doing. What you can do, you can select an area where you had the noise and you can just play. I'm not sure if you can actually hear properly there, but you can see here, um, which is literally just the noise that there was 
there before we actually apply the filter. So if I untick this, come back here, play it again. Look at the amount of noise that there is there now, minus 54. And before was speaking between minus 46 and minus 40, I think if it was. So that's a, a quick but very effective way of cleaning your audio. So then once you've done this, you apply, Audition will do its thing. So you see it's done. Now I've got my levels up to minus three and minus six. However, if I go back to my Premiere, my levels are still the same, right? So I'm still, if I play back, still minus 15, between minus 15 and minus 12. What I have to do though, go back to Audition, Command S to save it. It saved that file and now, as in magic, I don't have to do anything. It's already there. Now if I play back, there you go, my levels are between minus six and minus three. Happy days and we are good to go. And that's it for today's video, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys tomorrow in the next video. See ya.